Welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. There we go, that's better. So today, from Attic Brew Co, who are quite well known in Nottingham these days, uh, and obviously throughout the country. So this is a uh, Groove, and it's a DIPA, 8.2%. There is writing on the back, but I can't see the writing because I've put my blooming magnifying glass down somewhere. I can't find it. Yeah. <laughs> No, I can't find it. Um, yeah. Sturchley in Birmingham. Attic Bruco. Sturchley. Didn't they say good times on the side? Is Sturchley the same place that we went to for Saddlers? Is that Stouchley? I don't know. Sounds the same to me, but it may well be something different. So anyway, yeah, these guys have done a couple of um, collabs with uh, Castle Rock Brewery. And it's kind of funny, really, because that's where I'm going tomorrow. Castle Rock Brewery. So, lovely looking juice fest of a bit. And I know these guys can brew. I've tasted quite a few of their collaboration type brews so far. So, orange looking pour. Good hazy orange looking pour. Nice white head. Um, a form of head, so round about 13 mils for those who like to, um, you know, be absolutely blooming precise. Oh, that's nice. Tropical, juicy aroma co coming off. Let's dive in, everyone. Juicy, a little bit of bite. The temperature in here tonight is about 13 degrees, which isn't too bad, really. Um, I've got my thermal top on. Back to the thermal tops. Um, it's that time of the year. I wear thermal tops more than I wear anything. It just keeps you warm, doesn't it? As simple as that. Good flavour on this. Um, very nice. And like I say, um, because of their collaborations with um, Castle Rock, they're very, um, obviously the name's quite well known now in Nottingham and, and obviously around the country. And um, they've only just brewed another collab uh, last week. So looking forward to that, seeing where, what, what that ends up being in the end. I and mean, it's a great relationship they seem to have with um, Castle Rock. It's it's good for Castle Rock to to um, be bringing out um, craft beers, and I suppose it's a mutual collab really. And it, and it's good for both companies, you know, uh, getting relevant and staying relevant in this changing business that we're in. Um, Will all companies that do traditional beers move into craft? It's an interesting thing, that, isn't it? Um, I look at a lot of traditional breweries around, and some of them just are, are just bringing out new beers, and that suits them. They don't need to go into a craft beer environment. And yet others are doing so, you know, doing a mix, like a modern traditional, uh, modern traditional and with a hint of craft, just teetering. Um, most of the new beers recently from um, Castle Rock have either, either been collabs or in both craft and slightly traditional form with the Imperial Stouts. Uh, the barrel aged imperial stats with the emperor's brewery and then a couple of pilot project beers the harvest dipa uh, it's interesting uh, sad i couldn't have got a couple of those dipas but or at least one i did try could never get down to the bloody i could never get down to the, the shop to get one market because i was always working uh most saturdays working and uh, this seems to have carried on um Till the winter months come, shan't be working during the Jan uh, certainly from December till about beginning of end of February. I should be off that, so my Saturdays are my own again, which will feel weird. 
Mm. And it's like this to yourself. It's a, it's a, it's a concept that I haven't had for a long time. Um, unless the people up at Newark next to my workplace ask me to go up and say, look, and I'll say to them, look, I can come. But I'm not doing any less than four or five hours because of the traffic, the cost of me getting there in petrol. You know, you're looking at about seven quid's worth of petrol to get there and back, if not eight quid, just for the travelling. So I've, I've got to be earning enough pennies to make it worth me while, five hours, you know, minimum. Um, <laughs> but I can do a lot in five hours. I can change a garden in five hours. I can do so much. And uh, so we'll see how that goes from the winter months. But I'm also looking forward to time off. I've got, there's things I need to do. The garden needs sorting out, changing for next year. This uh, hot tub room needs sorting out. In here needs a little bit of tweaking. I've got new new um, bear mats to stick on the wall. Castle Rock from the Armour Actor. I've got new stuff to put up there. Move things around. As you do, you know, it's all about creating this amazing beer wall behind me. And, um, and, and a bit of change, you know, change is good. It is. And, uh, yeah, it's lovely. So anyway, back to the beer. Um, Oh, that's a lovely juicy juice fest of a beer. Uh, I do apologise for not being able to read all the writing. There is writing on the back. And uh, there you go. So, if the camera zooms in, I don't think it will. No. Yeah, so there's the writing. And as you can see, it's dinkum, for want of a better word. Schmalt. Um, but yeah, lovely. Oh. Certainly it's the spot well. Um, got it from lowcostbeer.com. So low cost, as you know, they, I think they get Beers that are going cheap from from you know overstocking of um, breweries and uh, um, restaurants and things that grow out of day you know things that grow out of business shops that grow out of business and uh, I mean let's be fair at the end of the day it's beers not going down the drain it is sad that any business goes out you know that goes out of business you know it really is sad. Um, my heart goes out to anybody whose livelihood's been affected negatively in the last couple of years of COVID and Brexit. And it's like a, it's been a bit of a shitstorm, really, for a lot of people. There are people, though, who've made a mountain of money out of it. You know, it's not all doom and gloom. Don't let the, don't let the media fool you into thinking that it's all been doom and gloom. It's not all been doom and gloom. I'm going to be interesting tomorrow going to Castle Rock, seeing how, how they are, uh, what they reveal to me, um, you know, and what they allow me to reveal uh, back. Because obviously there's some stuff they might not want to reveal. Um, there's some stuff I know about local breweries, and obviously that's not for the publics, you know. It's just like, you know, a quick word and, you know, and telling you some of the things they've got. And, you know, it's... Uh, it's obvious, like, you know, um, business is business, and you can't be revealing all your cards, especially not nationally, to the media. Um, <clears throat> so I'm not really the media, and I would never class myself as the media, because, one, I can't stand them, and <laughs> can't, really can't, can't stand stirvers. Uh, I, I, I just want to be, um, be there for the positive aspect of beers and that. Don't want to be there for negative. Don't like negative. Yeah, seen enough of that in life. Anyway, lovely this is. It's sitting there beautifully. Oh, 
proper juice first, get the right intense taste in at the front of the mouth. Beautiful. This is done right. Now, as we all know, a certain big brewery went into Tesco supermarkets earlier this year. And their ABVs were 6.5% IPAs. But they were boring. They weren't, they weren't interesting. They wasn't great. This wipes the floor with them. Cheers, lads. We'll meet one day. And ladies, if there are ladies, obviously. Although on, the picture on Castle Rock social media last week was three lads. So I presume it's lads, but obviously you never know who's in the background and who didn't travel over. There's always more people than what meets the eye. You never be good company. Um, what a stunner of a beer. Oh, it's proper to know now. I, I, do you know, sometimes there's a beer that you, you just open up with. And this is one of those beers, you know, I'm enjoying it. And uh, you know, it's not, I wouldn't say it's been the greatest of weekends. Um, as weekends go, still suffering with this chuffing leg. Took Voltarol gel to earlier just to try and take the pain off. And I think it's just going to, I think it's just a case of time will heal, um, as it does with a lot of things, unfortunately. You know, you can heal the heart and all, all sorts of things. Um, but yeah, t time, time is, the, is, is God's a healer, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, it's not going that road. <clears throat> That is a beautiful tasting beers. beer. Take a bow, lads. Uh, team team Attic Brew, take a bow. Um, loving the stuff you're doing in Castle Rock. Um, all of it. Um, some amazing beers, and long may that continue. It's it's uh, it's an interesting um, uh, partnership, shall we say, collaboration. So yeah. Before I go too long, a hazy orange pour, white egg, juice fest, tropical juice fest on nose, same on the taste. It's absolutely immense. One of the nicest uh, juicy beers that I've had. Top class, good 4.5 out of 5. And that's it for this beer. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Cheers, all.